us. Now to an incredible and bizarre fire that's still burning west of Brisbane. It erupted from the ground, setting alight nearby bushland. Residents are blaming underground mining in the area. Burning uncontrolled and brilliant in the dark, the blue flame flared over a metre into the cool air. It stood out like a beacon in the scrub 30 kilometres west of Dolby. I was a bit bloody amazed. I thought, oh, big hull, flame, no one's around, no campfire, so I thought, well, what's the go? Up close, it had the unmistakable sound of a gas stream. The temperature was near freezing, but the mud coming from underground was bubbling hot. Farmers believe the gas has been seeping at the pocket ignited by floating embers from a fire yesterday at a nearby dump. Who knows how much more gas is coming to the surface of the land uh, all across this district. The flame scorched an area the size of a football field that's still burning, opening up a deep crack in the ground. Fire crews are allowing it to burn unsupervised. Farmers say over the past 20 years, the area was extensively drilled during exploratory testing for coal mines and gas. Many of the bores were left uncapped. Some is obvious, but others like this one haven't been, and uh, I think it is a concern that how many others are out there. Arrow Energy has a gas farm less than one kilometre from the site, but deny their operations are to blame. The fire is also close to the border of the Wilkie Creek coal mine. Companies can, can bleat all they like that this is a natural occurrence. It is not a natural occurrence. It is not a natural thing for the ground to be set on fire. Experts have yet to finalise a strategy on how they're going to put that fire out. But one proposal is that they may have to smother it with tonnes of wet earth and concrete to make sure it doesn't reignite. Locals want the government to begin a program to cap all forgotten wells before the summer fire season. A spokesman for the Natural Resources Minister says they don't have an answer for the long-term management of disused bores. Darren Curtis, 9 News.